Hello everyone, welcome into episode 8 of our Chelsea career mode here on FIFA 23. I'm Ash or Bromer 18 and today is a big one because we begin season 2 of the series and we're really excited to get underway. We've got an exciting transfer window to get going and hopefully a couple of big signings to make. I've already got some in mind. So really pleased that you guys are joining me today. No, don't worry, the series has not finished. I've had some questions wondering if I've bailed on the series. I have not. Just wanted to get my Roma Football Manager 2023 series underway. And now that we've managed to do that, we can now resume with the Chelsea series as well. So really excited to get in this one today. So what do we have for you today? Well, we are going to get the season underway, of course. We've got this away game against Newcastle, which is going to be a tough game to begin the season. Um, so we are going to show that one. But most importantly, perhaps of all, we have got the transfer window. We have gone ahead and kind of scouted and shortlisted some players we've got some in mind uh, we're already looking at Alessandro Bastoni made a lot of noise about him so far Jude Bellingham as well the likes of Justin Che Reggie Cannon Alfonso Davis we've made a couple of sales already so we're going to go into that it's going to be a really exciting one quick notice before we get into those exciting transfers just want to say go and check out my video games podcast the ash bros podcast the link is down below uh with episode three that is going to be out tomorrow as of recording this and when most of you are watching this it will already be out we've done a review of fifa 23 and given our thoughts on gameplay on career mode etc so i think you guys are really going to enjoy this so please do go and check out episode three of that podcast and all the other episodes as well you'll really enjoy it and also check out my Patreon. The link to that is down below. You're on there, you can get access to a range of fantastic perks and rewards, like my FIFA 23 tactics package, exclusive FIFA 23 tactics videos, behind the scenes videos, early access, Discord server access, fantasy league access, so many perks. So do go and check that one out. A great way to support the channel if you can afford it. Right then, let's get into the transfer window. So we've already made a couple of sales. Uh, one thing I do want to point out, we had an offer for Romelu Lukaku uh, from West Ham for 72 million. I rejected that because I, I just think it wasn't quite realistic in the sense that I don't think he'd go to West Ham and I don't think they'd pay that sort of money for uh, a striker either. So in the end, whilst we are trying to sell him, we did decide to get that one. As you'll see on this piece of news, Hakim Ziyech has left. He's joined Napoli in the end. Uh, so obviously we did have him transfer listed so it's good to kind of get him off the books in the end um, and he can kind of add to the transfer pot, which is growing every day. We've also sold Ethan Ampadu as well. He has gone to Bordeaux for 6.3 million. So again, someone who wasn't going to get much game time there. So having a look at the budget, 235 million transfer budget. Now, obviously, I don't know how much that really is when the wages are taken off it with EA having, you know, messed this all up and stuff, unfortunately. Um, but we have a fairly hefty amount and hopefully that's going to be enough to kind of get the players in that we're looking for speaking of those players we've already got our eye on them so bastoni bellingham and reggie cannon are the ones that i have eyed up and kind of zoned in on in the end we're going to start with alessandro bastoni his contract actually expires at the end of the season so we've only 10 months left on his deal we should be able to get him for a reduced price now uh lower than what the usual 80 90 million that have been expected so we're going to go in with an offer of around about 50 million and see where that starts us so if i go here 50.8 million um, and we'll even add a sell-on clause just for them uh, of let's say 15 percent, and we'll see where that gets us and uh they've accepted wow that was easy that was easier than i've ever expected so we can go straight into the contract negotiations with Bastoni now. Let's see what he wants. Um, he wants an important squad role, which is perfectly fine with us. Uh, we're looking for a five-year deal, which I'm sure he'll be absolutely fine with. Yes, he is. We'll disregard the release clause. Now, with the wage, I'm expecting him realistically to want uh, something well within the hundreds. We're going to look for something between, uh, let's say, something around 130. Signing bonus will naturally be in the millions. Uh, so we'll give him a 4 million signing bonus, even that's been a little bit lenient, I'll be honest. Uh, clean sheets, if we offer him 15 clean sheets, no, in fact, we'll go for 20 clean sheets, uh, then we will give him a bonus of 1.5 million. And uh, he will be absolutely fine with that, I am sure. So, that was nice and easy. First transfer through the door, Alessandro Bastoni, he slots perfectly 
into that left center back role that wide overlapping center back that i am looking for on the left hand side we'll talk about all about that in the future so really excited to get him through the door as you see he does arrive we don't need to see the same old repetitive cutscene, do we nice 50.8 million cannot be sniffed at wow the most pointless feature ever added to fifa actually gives me an a so there you go so that leaves a transfer budget at 173 million dare i say we will be okay to uh make these other signings now we want to target jude bellingham however i kind of had an idea here rather than just offering the 100 million plus that they would expect in real life i think we offer someone as part of a swap deal and i already have someone in mind i'm thinking one callum hudson adoy uh, because he's a player who they have targeted in fact many job clubs in germany have targeted Callum hudson Adoy. Um, he's naturally on loan at Bayer Leverkusen in real life at the moment. He's returned to us now. So I think this is a really, really good um, kind of piece of business. If we can find him, I'm guessing he'll be in the wingers section. There he is, 22 million market value. So we'll offer him as part of a swap. We'll also offer, um, let's say somewhere around 60 million and then add a sell-on clause of 15%. Let's see where that one takes us. Okay. Really easy. Again, that was extremely easy. Things aren't right today. Things are going well too easy. Let's see what the player negotiations are going to be like then. Because um, this is going really smoothly. So we're going to offer him an important squad role. Um, I think this is a good move for him as well, as well as us. He naturally slots into that central midfield position. Um, so we're really pleased with that. Again, he's going to be looking for something well into the hundreds. So we're going to offer him, uh, let's say, 150000 a week signing bonus. We'll go up a little bit. Let's say something around the lines of £6 million. Uh, and then with the bonus, an appearance bonus, 25 appearances, um, he can have a bonus of a million and submit offer this should be nice and simple apparently it's not quite what he was hoping for but there you go even though we just tripled his wage demands so that was really easy and you see things are going well the most pointless feature ever had to FIFA is just giving me two A's in a row and there you go even though I just tripled his wage demands so that tells you all you need to know about how well that feature really works so sorry guys if you're expecting a bit of drama there Oh, I'm sorry I can't offer it to you. That that went really well. Uh, nice and smooth. Two incredible signings, Bastoni and Jude Bellingham. You know, these signings are, are going to help us to be competitive right away um, and hopefully take that next step towards these trophies this season now. And so that's how the first team lineup is really shaping up now and it's starting to look very healthy indeed. Really like how it's turning out and, you know, starting to like, there are no excuses going forward this season. So we've also spoken about how we need a backup right wing back, a rotational right wing back. We've only got Reese James in that position and we need someone behind him. I uh, was looking at kind of a couple of players from the United States as, you know, we've kind of got that uh, American influence now with the ownership and etc. And you've already seen them trying to exert that. So uh, we, we shortlist a couple of players, Reggie Cannon, Justin Che. Uh, played with Reggie Cannon on FIFA before, really like him. The issue is he's 25, he's not going to develop much more. Whereas Justin Che at 19 will develop much more but obviously you know he can't come in right now so it's been a really tough decision um but for the sake of you know where i think the team is is ready to win right now um we are going to go with reggie cannon he's coming at boa vista in uh, portugal so hopefully we can get this one through the line uh, i'm going to look for something around a 10 million pound mark uh, and also going to add on the sell-on clause of 15 percent as well uh, okay, so they want Malhang Saar plus 3 million and no sell-on clause. That, that's fine. That's fine with me. No problem at all. You can have him. Uh, we are looking to get rid of him anyway. Uh, so we can go straight into player negotiations. So we've got him a sporadic squad role. He's happy with that. He wants a two-year contract length. I mean, if we offer him four, he won't like that. So um, we'll offer him three. And they always accept one year higher. Uh, no release clause, no problem at all. And then going into the wage, naturally he wants something a bit higher. Uh, we can edit the bonuses a little bit here with the signing bonus. I've given something around the one million pound mark. Um, and then again, with the kind of appearances bonus, we can boost that up and give him somewhere along the lines of 600,000 for 25 appearances. And uh, he's 
happy with that. So there you go, another one through the door. So this is how our transfer business is shaping up, looking really healthy. Bastoni, Bellingham and Reggie Cannon. Don't forget we've signed on Kunku and Tammy Abraham as well. So five through the door altogether. Very big signings. Really pleased with our business so far. And the most important thing is it's great to get it done early which is always really good because you don't want to be panicking come deadline day. So I would say our transfer business is done now. Really pleased with what we've been able to do. We've brought in a few new signings, most of them in this team, as you can see, Bellingham and Kunku Abraham, Bastoni, and obviously Cannon on the bench there. So I think we're ready to go. The squad looks really fleshed out. Lots of depth as well. We're managing to trim the, the size of the team down as well. Still a few players there that we want to kind of shift out. The likes of Roman, Lukaku, etc. But generally, it's really getting to the place where I want it to be now. Um, and ahead of this first game of the season, very, very optimistic. So what about this first game of the season? Well, I'm sticking with this 3-4-2-1 or 3 4 3 that we've utilised throughout the majority of the career mode for now. Obviously, in real life, we've seen Graham Potter really switch formation every game so um you know i'm not going to keep doing that every game i think we stick to his general principles and philosophy and his three four three that he has kind of utilized so far as well um with regards to newcastle we've got very tough team and they are making good signings as you can see up on meccano gavi lamar etc so there's a lot of good players in there um, i expect them to really be challenging in this career mode as well so let's see let's see I've tweaked the tactics a little bit to fit the new personnel, the likes of Bellingham. We've, you know, really suited the um, thing to his his role and his traits a little bit more. The same with Conte as well. We've also got this wide centre back on the left side now, so that's going to be really, really fun. We're going to be interesting to see kind of how that plays out. So here we go then. Going to be an exciting one. There's a good run on there. It's Jude Bellingham as well, and he's going to go for goal early. And Pope saves at his near post. That's really good play. Chilwell, he's looking for that ball from Abraham. It's a great run as well. Oh, and the header's just too weedy. What a shame, because that was really nice movement, and that would have been a lovely goal. And Kunku, Sterling, looking to slot that one into Abraham, and he's got him as well. Can he finish? Yes, he can, and it's a great way to get Tammy Abraham's return to Chelsea underway. Number 13, which is going to have to change after this game, and what a lovely, well-worked goal that is. It's Sterling who just slots it through nicely, and a lovely run from Tammy Abraham, who just peels off the centre-back. And Nick Pope, who has made a couple of good saves to start this one, definitely isn't stopping that one. Tammy, on his return debut, Gets his first goal of the season. Oh, that's good play. He's through to Bruno Guimaraes. He'll slot it through. And Mendy makes a really tremendous save. Because that was a fantastic opportunity. And they should have scored that. Oh, that's lovely. It's Sterling and Abraham with that same combination again. Abraham takes it right to Nick Pope this time, but doesn't make the same mistake. It's 2-0 and Tammy Abraham with his second of the game. That combination of Sterling and Abraham really turning out to be lethal early on. It's a lovely through ball. And this time, Abraham really kind of closes in on Nick Pope and takes a little bit of a risk. But it pays off. Pays off really nicely and Tammy Abraham on his debut with a brace so far and going for the hat-trick. Chilwell, Bastoni overlapping. Oh, it's a good ball into Bellingham and it's another goal with a debut and this time it's Jude Bellingham and what a header that is. It's 3-0 on the stroke of half-time, played way over stoppage time again. Four minutes in. But Jude Bellingham doesn't care. What a lovely goal that is. And it's Alessandro Bastoni. And this is why I wanted him over Guardiola. Because of things like this. We know he can get wide. He can play that overlapping centre-back role. And his crossing is superb. I had debates with this in people in the comment section who just would not have it about Guardiola. But this is why. This is exactly the reason why. Because he can do this. And what a cross it is. And it's a lovely header from Jude Bellingham. Truly, truly brilliant. And it's been a fantastic first half, 3-0. And that's going to be half-time as we get kick-off as the ref plays well over stoppage time. What a start. The debutants really enjoying themselves. Bellingham picks the ball in a nice area. Oh, takes on his man. It's lovely. He's going to go for goal. Pope with another good save. Matt Target looking to get it away. 
And there it is, full time. Well, it slowed down in the second half, it has to be said, but a really positive performance. That's a great way to get the season underway. And the debutants, other than Nkunku, who was very quiet, uh, had a really good game. Really good game. So that's very pleasing indeed. That's a good performance. Tammy and Bellingham getting off and running with their scoring in the campaign, and that is a good win. So finally, we've had an offer from Inter for Lukaku, 68 million. We are just going to accept that one because I don't think Inter are ever going to come back in again if we start messing around. So that's good to get him off the books. And so this is how the Premier League table looks after one game. The likes of Man City, Arsenal winning their first game, Liverpool dropping points, Tottenham, Manchester United, and obviously Newcastle also dropping points as well. So it's a good start to the season. Really pleased to get it underway in such fashion. And hopefully we can continue that as we really look to press on that Premier League title this year. Now, with regards to episode two, uh, we don't know what the Champions League draw is yet. So if we are getting big teams in that, then naturally we are going to probably uh, play that game. Otherwise, I think we really look ahead to the likes of Liverpool and Leicester, which isn't until November. Um, as we really want to try and pick up the pace with this series now. We will obviously show highlights of games in between each episode as well. So do bear that one in mind. Um, but other than that, you know, I think it's a really good start to the season. And hopefully with this run of games coming up in, in September, it does pick up a little bit. Arsenal, Manchester United, etc. Um, but hopefully we can really pick up some momentum. So if you've made it this far, then I want to say thank you so much for continuing to support me, for continuing to watch the series and tune into my content. I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for just supporting me. Really, really grateful and helping me to kind of continue to do this. And with that being said, I think we're going to finish it off there. Now, make sure to check out all the links in the description below. Roma Football Manager series. We've got my video games podcast. We've got my Patreon, lots of great perks and rewards on there. There's so many stuff going on on the channel right now. Uh, IAX live stream series, career mode as well. So do go and check them all out. Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload, and drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it to let me know you want to see more. On that note, we're going to finish it off there. So until episode 9, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.